<laughs> Are you a bit crooked? I feel like you're a bit crooked. Is this better? I feel like it is better. Hi everyone. I'm gonna get my document ready. How are you guys doing to start with? I'm very excited about this video. Should be the right one? Get it. So I'm gonna get these off. It'll be annoying for you guys. I really hope you can hear me well because Oliver is sleeping right up. So I don't want to make too many noises. So if you hear something, I have the baby monitor right here just to check. How are you guys doing? I'm very excited to be filming. I haven't filmed a kind of plan with me monthly reset video in a really long time and it's actually so late because <laughs> today is Monday, September 9th and I wanted to film this video last week, even the week before, but I was not doing great. <laughs> so didn't really want to set any goals and I still have my days. I, I feel like I need a, a reset for myself. So I thought I would share that with you and, and we would go through everything because I had set summer goals at the beginning of the summer, obviously. I wanted to kind of talk about it with you guys hi honey and see how i did on all of them i need to find this list because oh da, 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 da. dude dude what are you doing nope uh, i have plans goals and habits that i wanted to implement so we're gonna go through all of that first and then we're gonna talk about my goals for september which i started because we're, we're we're well into september but i feel like september is such a back to school feeling even though i'm i'm 30 but i still have this sense of it's the start of of a fresh page the summer the summer the summer was a bit more eventful than i would have wanted in our personal life which you know it happens and i just like had this feeling of depression <laughs> I'm smiling and everything but uh, honestly it's been pretty bad and I've been really really struggling it was hard and at the same time I think uh, I sort of realized that something was going on in August but in in July I had some pretty good times and we got married Oliver turned one which was so nice and then we came back here to house sit at my parents for a little bit and I think when I was here with Oliver house sitting that's when I really realized that something was off but also my sister pointed it out to me like she was kind of upset about it and i thought about it and i was like is it postpartum depression because it's been lasting for like months and months and then she was like no i don't think it's postpartum depression i think you've been having depression episodes for the past few years and it kind of went untreated because i had other priorities at the time and i was not putting myself first at all and last year was pretty rough and on, on every single level of life and I put myself on the back burner again and then when I felt like I could kind of come back um, there were so many things happening at the same time and I can't talk about them and I, I won't because it's not about me but it's really made things even worse put everything in perspective and I've been really struggling like very much struggling and you could not tell this by today because I did my hair I put makeup on I'm dressed I'm smiling and everything but honestly um, some days I just cannot move from the couch and if it's an Oliver day I do the I do what I can to take care of him and that's it I do nothing else because I'm I'm not capable and some days I'm at home and if he's at daycare I'm not even able to work and do anything which is very much unlike me because I'm someone who feels like I have to do something all the time and I say that and I I, I, I watch some like people's videos and stuff saying that and I hate it because I'm like we all love to rest and like to read and whatever and I feel like that's not me but that's also me I feel like my worth is very much often put on what I do and that's not really great actually and I've had days of like literally just being on the couch having something in the background like on the TV and I play the sims as long as I need I sometimes take a nap in the afternoon I just chill and whenever I feel like I'm ready to do something I get something done but it's been hard to process and I've talked about it with my therapist and she said oh this is like a warning but you're very much in a like depressive state and you need to take care of it right now because it's pretty bad so i've been really mixing taking care of myself relaxing resting fueling myself with activities and, and things that make me feel better and at the same time balancing things that can make things move forward to improve my life to improve my mental health 
as well. So it's been really a balance of the two and I'm happy with that. Um, in terms of plants that I had put for the summer, one was Oliver's birthday, like I mentioned, and it was so nice. I really got <laughs> pretty emotional the few days before that, which I had like I knew it was gonna come and it was really quite something and at the same time it was really beautiful because we were with family and he is so loved you know and and it's so beautiful to see and I would watch him and I was my god like a year ago today life was so different and and that day was pretty traumatic but also beautiful and you have all of these thoughts and emotions and 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 little things coming back and I would look at photos a lot from like the past year and it was crazy to see his evolution as a little person and on that day I really looked at him and I just felt so full life has changed so much and it was such a hard year it takes a while for you to feel like you are more settled into this new life and this new chapter of your life I should say and it takes a while to feel um, normal again for the mother especially because of the hormones and everything and I feel like I'm still going through that I heard that it like it takes two years for you to feel like your normal self so we'll see but it was so special and so a very much introspective time as well it was also so nice and really fun to experience with family as well the other one was i turned 30 <laughs> and i didn't really know what i wanted to do we just had like um a cake and all with family and we we celebrated together which was great i didn't really feel like having something very big because first of all i'm not really that type of person but also we got married a month and a half before my birthday oliver's birthday was like a month before mine and i was like i just do not want to plan anything to do anything to fans however also one of my plans for the summer was to go on a little trip initially we wanted to go with oliver but one it was really really warm and it's really difficult to move around with a kid and like we're in the south of like southeast of france so everywhere is really warm but also i felt like i needed a break from life like i mentioned i was not really doing great so when my my husband asked me what i wanted for my birthday i was like you know what i really want a little bit of time for just the two of us but something really relaxing so we went on a little weekend trip we booked a hotel that had a spa in it which was so nice i i have so many reels of my this trip we stopped at two little towns on the way there and on the way back and it was so nice because it really felt like we were out of our routine and out of our usual life so it was so much better and and so much easier to take a step back and relax and be more in the moment which was really what i wanted i also wanted to implement more habits during the summer because i felt at the beginning of the summer that i was not doing great mentally and so i knew that there were a few things that i could do better for myself for taking care of myself i think it was around middle of july probably i downloaded um headspace again for meditations my therapist had mentioned it before she was like there's so much going on in your mind all the time you need to learn to quiet your your mind and to be more present and also more in tune with your body and something that could really help is meditation and i've tried meditating in the past i I think I've made a video about it actually and I felt that it made me feel so much better and from time to time I would meditate but not really frequently but also it was not really a habit at that point so what I did was that I downloaded Headspace because I had tried it in the past loved it and then I was watching Chelsea Callahan on YouTube and she had a code for two months free for trial which was great because usually you get like a 30-day trial I believe and and I was like, you know what, it's the length of the summer pretty much. I'm gonna try it out and we'll see. And I've been pretty much meditating every day and sometimes even several times a day. And not for too long, honestly. Sometimes I will do like three minutes, five minutes. I can go to 10 minutes like way more easily now, but I did not want to feel like it was taking time out of my day when I could be productive if it's 
if, if it makes any sense because it's kind of stupid i wanted quick things but i wanted specific things and i love this app so much it's not sponsored i wish it was i just love it there are so many themes of like meditations but also like practices like um lessons like you have like 20 lessons on, on anxiety or something or like 10 you have levels and stuff you can have quick meditations on a specific subjects or on just breathing or on relaxing your muscles or being in the present you can have something for eating behaviors sleep productivity um self-esteem um so many i honestly bookmarked so many of them and whenever i want to meditate i just look at what's on offer and what i've bookmarked and i see whatever i'm in the mood for but also whatever i need at that moment and it's so nice it's it's just so great so it's it, i'm very much proud of myself for having done that for me and taken the time to do it and from the beginning i felt an improvement in um my ability to be present um accept the fact that i need the time off of my brain you know but yeah i'm so happy about that next up my goals for the summer <sighs> I only had two goals for the summer because I didn't want to overwhelm myself because I wanted to rest and to take a pause. One was to find a job and I talked about it in that video specifically about the reasons and everything so I won't go through that, I'll put it up here but that's still very much something that I want to uh, do is have something a bit more, not settled but fixed but also recurring like I don't know how to say that but i'm i've worked on it quite a bit but like mentally and actively which means that i took some time to really think about the kind of job that i would want to do for myself or like feeling better but also for my future and then i took some actions into setting that into place and i'm very happy about it in the sense that i think this is pretty good for me and it's going to be so helpful for my mental health but also for my future like i said i want things to move and change so that we can go towards our, our future goals as a family and i'm really into making that happen pretty much so we're doing it you guys the other one is to finish um setting up my patreon and you guys this is happening this is very much happening. I'm very excited about it. I'm not sure when I'm going to release that. If by the time you're watching this, I've released my Patreon, go click up here or in the down bar. I'm not sure where I'll put it, but I'm so excited because this feels really like this is something that I'm meant to do in the sense that it feels really like me. And when I've talked about it with my best friend she was like yeah your voice even changes when you're telling me about it because it feels so right and it feels so you and it really does i really wanted my patreon to be a place of creativity but also of giving versions of myself what i need in a sense because i want i want a community of people that are similar to me in the sense that we can all help each other out and we have we have different lives but also we are sort of the same people and in what we need i'm so excited about it i think it's pretty it's pretty much ready and there are a few things that i still need to work on but we're on the right path pretty much and whew, i'm excited and at the same time i'm pretty nervous which is a weird mix but we'll see how it goes now on to my goals for this month the first one is definitely to publish my patreon and to get it out there because i've realized that i have a tendency of wanting to do so many things and then having my overthinking brain be like can you actually do that are you gonna make a fool of yourself this is not good enough and then i don't do it and basically i realized that this is preventing me from doing a lot of things and also always feeling like a failure because i don't finish doing things and i don't go beyond my fears and so i've decided that this is really something that i'm gonna see through and i'm gonna put my all in and i'm really gonna do my best to make it as good and as honest and for me to really feel proud of myself another goal of mine is to get a haircut 
here you're seeing my hair i i blue dry it yesterday but i never do my hair if you see me usually i look like a hot mess because i cannot be bothered to take the time to do my hair and it's gotten so long because i haven't cut it in nearly two years it was even before me getting pregnant and she kind of messed up my haircut so it got to like so so short like i think up here and i didn't like it for the first at like month and a half probably really not i would put my hair back all the time and it's gotten so long like this is like two years of growth i like it like this i have to admit which is a bit annoying but also i think that i want it cut because i end up always putting my hair up especially with oliver but also during the night it drives me nuts because it gets stuck under my armpits i turn and it's everywhere and i don't also i think it's gonna be good for me to feel like a new version of myself like a new beginning should be really nice another one is to polish my job search how do i want to say a like process it's hard to explain but basically i'm gonna offer my services for specific things i'm going to try to see whether i really want to be freelance on that or if i want like a specific kind of fixed contract either if it's long term or short term whatever but i need to kind of polish my services on all of that and my rates and whatever so i i really want to work on that and i feel excited about it another goal of mine is to journal or meditate my goal would be like five to four to five times at least during the week because i know that it makes me feel so much better to meditate like i mentioned but also to journal and get everything out and to be more in the present moment and mental health wise i need it another one would be to keep going on instagram my relationship with instagram is very tricky in the sense that for years and years i was a bit too obsessed with it in the sense that i would post like at least five times a week i would take so many photos i would be obsessed with getting content ready and whenever i was doing something i wanted to get a photo a good one and whatever and it was great creatively but i put so much pressure on myself about that that it was a bit detrimental to me and after I, I continued throughout 2020 i'm pretty sure and then i had kind of a burnout for so many reasons in the fall of 2020 and that's when i kind of stopped producing content and putting everything out there i kind of lost the habit of posting and the algorithm is also a bit tricky sometimes if you don't post all the time and and ever since my mental health has been really fluctuating so i haven't been too consistent but also i've changed so much throughout the years that the content that i was producing back then is really not who i am right now and i'm figuring out who i am as a person but also what i want to be about on that platform and i've been a bit more consistent since i would say august and also putting out content that feels more like me so if you want to follow please do i really want to keep going on that and i want to continue pushing myself like i mentioned to do things that kind of scare me and make me doubt what i'm doing because at the end of the day i just need to put things out there and stop overthinking and also it makes me feel pretty good to feel like some things that i'm sharing are something that maybe someone needs to hear so i want to keep going i would also want to finish two books this month that i i think i already finished one and it feels so good to read and the last one is that i want to have two self-learning days when i just sit down and get my computer ready and go on like a tutorial of sorts whether it's through skillshare or youtube or anything like that and i learn as much as i can on a specific topic that i'm really interested in or that could be great for me for either like content wise but also for my future business that's really something that i'm excited to do but i haven't really allowed myself to do that in the past because like i said i want to be productive and those are days when i'm learning i'm ingesting information and i'm not getting things ready for the future but that's actually part of it that that's a great foundation for anything so i really want to do that and i'm also going to choose like things like i mentioned that are going to be helpful for me in the future i've tried to put things on my goal 
goals that are not new in the sense that I'm not starting something from scratch or it's not a new idea or things that I've been progressively doing and going through. I haven't done really a summer reflection this month um, because it's a bit much for me right now mentally to go through all of that. So I apologize, this part is not going to be in. But yeah, uh, I don't want this video to be too, too long because it's all, it already probably is, but I'm very happy you're here and do let me know about your goals for either this month but also for fall generally speaking or things that you want to do for yourself. I would love to hear about that. Do let me know. I'm interested. If, if you think I'm not, I really am. Yeah, I hope you have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next one.